may recall that during the flight of the Apollo 11, the command uh, module pilot then, Mike Collins, didn't quite realize after the mating that they had actually mated with the CSM and the lunar module. You think I'm through the picture? No, I wouldn't change a thing. It looks really good. That sort of halo Just, effect. Uh, right in the middle and steady. That sort of halo effect that you see around the top of the lunar module is the SLA, the Spacecraft Lander Adapter, which is the top of the uh, third stage. Those panels will blow apart after connection has been made. You can see the thrusters, I believe, from the uh, command module as it jockeys for position to make an exact connection with the lunar module. There's not much talk from up in space, and you'll pardon us if we do a great deal of talking. Right now, they're concentrating. This is the first transmission, and it appears to us an excellent one from the color camera aboard the command ship. There are two color cameras, actually, aboard this flight. Three TV cameras, one black and white, two color. Black and white, and a color for use on the moon, a color for use in the command module. And the color camera, not to become too premature, for use on the moon has been adapted so that if it should be in an inadvertently turned toward the sun, as was the case in Apollo 12, the lens will not be burned out. Or the tube will not be burned out. Our engineers who are technically oriented uh, hasten to correct us on that. 14 now. 5,168 nautical miles away from Earth. Despite the 40-minute delay in launch... Go ahead. Just for your information, we've lost data with the uh, LVDC. We don't have any uh, procedures for you. With regard to them. Uh, thank you, Chief. We've lost data with uh, all data from the LVDC, but uh, we have no change in procedures. So go ahead with uh, normal procedures. Okay. That's the uh, launch vehicle digital computer, the LVDC. We're at uh, three hours, uh, nine minutes now into the flight. The flight was originally scheduled for launch, as you know, at 3.23 this afternoon, but because of a rain-laden cloud cover that swept over Cape Kennedy eight minutes before the scheduled launch, it was delayed 40 minutes. Now, there's been the question, will that uh, set back all the times during the Apollo mission? It will up until LOI, that's Lunar Orbit Insertion number one, and then they will try to hasten their operations to pick up that 40 minutes so that they can get back on the clock that was set at 3.23 launch time. We're at uh, 3 hours, 9 minutes, uh, 14, uh, presently uh, 5,441 uh, nautical miles away from Earth. say by our super below the picture. You uh, this see Kitty Hawk uh, moving in uh, for docking now. We're at uh, three hours, ten minutes into the flight. We show an altitude of uh, 5,577 nautical miles. Remember, they are no longer in Earth park uh, parking orbit. Do you need any commentary to help you identify what you're saying with the TV? The astronauts are now on their trajectory to the moon. We're picking out things uh, pretty well here. Uh, do you have anything uh, for the rest of the country? You might go ahead and talk if it won't interfere with the operation there. Okay, I'll check for a minute. The S-4B is surrounded here by typical thousands of 
billion of particles that came out when we separated. It looked like little winky stars uh, floating around in a very uh, random pattern. The sunlight is shining very strongly off the top of the lunar module as we drift into it. Stuart's doing an excellent job of sliding in here very slowly. As you can see that our approach speed is tenths of a foot per second probably. And the limb is starting to get very large in our field of view. Starting to cover the window of my plus X window. And the limb, the S4B, are four-sided right on our X-axis. We can see all of the yellow. A thermal protection around the limb. The uh, parts that are black, silver, and white. The colors stand out very nicely. And I can look across, across Stewart. So we were wrong. What we thought were the blasts from the RCS, the reaction control thrusters, were actually, according to that description, the fireflies of the heavens, the universe, the stars. Uh, yeah, this is about how far out in range are you now, would you estimate? About five feet. And that's an excellent picture. Uh, I'll stand down the commentary here for a moment. This indeed is the ticklish area. They've got to be in just such a mode that all the catches and all the latches line up accordingly. There's about 12 of them, too. And you said we're about to dock. Back up. That was Ed Mitchell uh, reporting they're getting ready to dock. Uh, we're at uh, three hours, uh, 13 minutes, and now to the flight. And of course, we hope to see the extraction of the lunar module. At, uh, three hours, uh, 14 minutes into the flight, uh, we show uh, Apollo 14 at a distance of 6,184 nautical miles. The legs of the lunar module are collapsed inside the... Uh, yeah, we but I think we can see the flight oscillation. Ed Mitchell reporting that Apollo 14 uh, the command module, uh, Kitty Hawk, uh, has docked uh, with the lunar module. We're at uh, 3 hours uh, 14 minutes uh, now into the flight. Uh, Apollo 14 presently uh, 6,318 nautical miles away from Earth. The panels of the spacecraft lander adapter will be blown off and the lunar module will be extracted and then the CSM and the LM will be on their own separated from the third stage. The thrusters aboard the third stage will then be activated to kick the third stage into a different trajectory headed okay, for the moon. Houston, uh, we did it twice and Sure looks like we're closing fast enough. I'm going to back back out here and try it again. Back up. Apparently that docking wasn't as accurate as they had anticipated. They're going to back off and do it again. It's not exactly parallel parking when you try to do that. Perhaps the catches and the latches were not properly aligned and they're going to take another crack at it. I think you can see one of the thrusters in the upper right-hand corner, if I'm not mistaken, the picture's a little cloudy, one of the lunar module's reaction control thrusters. 
which control the pitch, yaw, and roll of the lunar module. And are akin, of course, to those on the CSM Kitty Hawk. Actually, what we're seeing now, I can't make out too closely. It's too close quarters. But they are near the aperture of the lunar module with the probe. The focus is a bit better now, as if they heard us. And this is the first time in the four manned flights that they've had this much difficulty joining the CSM with a lunar module. As I said, there are a number of catches that must mesh exactly, which form the corridor between the command service module and the lunar module. Because they have to open that hatch and acclimate the lunar module for use, and unless those catches are latched properly. Okay, you, Houston, uh, we backed out a little bit, and uh, that last time I uh, hit it pretty good, and uh, we're just not getting uh, getting the capture latches in there. Roger, well, we suggest you uh, verify if you haven't already the docking probe circuit breakers on panel eight. That's verified. Step by one. You can see the aperture in the lunar module. These pictures are taken from... Two, we suggest you go to uh, extend on the uh, docking probe, extend retract switch, and check the dock back to gray. Okay, uh, we did that when we extend it, but we'll sure do it again. And then back to retract. We don't wish to be premature in our assessment of the situation, but should the eventuality occur, they are in a mode. Okay, we get both gray in the uh, extend position. But that and we go retract in both gray. They are on a course that would take them around the moon and uh, back home safely. Houston, one other suggestion, go to panel 229 and check the EPS group four circuit breaker. Okay, it says they're both in. Must be approximately, if the focus is uh, accurate, about 10 feet now away from the lunar module. These pictures are being taken via the color TV set in the command service module through one of the triangular hatches in the CSM. Uh, 14 Houston, we're about out of ideas here. Uh, suggest you verify you got it to switch back and retract, and then give it another try at docking. Okay. We're at uh, 3 hours, 20 minutes. Uh, Apollo 14 will be coming forward again for another try at docking.
3 hours 21 minutes. Uh, we show 14, uh, 7, 300, uh, 72 nautical miles away from Earth.